G'day everyone, there goes June. She's on her way down to do her normal chore. Uh, welcome back to our everyday living everyone. We're here on location where we, we do our work, do our job, our normal everyday work here. Um, we love it here. So fantastic. I've got to get in a mow yet. Sorry about the sky, but yeah. Um, cats are inside today. Well, they were out earlier today, but they're going back in. Uh, but anyway, getting down to what we got for last night's episode. It is the following day. Um, in cans and bottles, what we got was, this is in the glass. It's not much, but we got that. In our cartons, cans and plastic, this is what we got here. I picked up also, I'll get around to telling you about this freezer. Um because that's not in the video, but that's how much, like the freezer is a fairly big freezer, uh, things are falling down there, I actually, well, I'll tell you straight away, after I finished the video, I went around to uh, good old Spotty Light, and uh, yeah, there was nothing in Spotty Light, there was no, nothing in Fantastic Furniture, only probably two bottles, um, Went to another place and, and found a whole heap of cans and bottles. So I got them out because it was getting too dark. Didn't have a torch. So that's that's basically why I've got so much here. But anyway, getting down to the freezer. Because oh, you've got um, fantastic furniture, then spotlight, and then you've got a fun park, land, indoor thing, and then the picture theatre. The actual freezer, believe it or not, that freezer there, was actually sitting outside near their bin. I thought, well, what? That's strange for that to be sitting there. But I did look it over. All right, I did actually look at it. And if I can show you, I'll bring you around here. Oh, it's on the opposite side. Bear with me for a second. Got to get rid of a few things here. Uh, oh, go up there. Go up there. Go up there. Go up there. Uh, just move a few things around. So we can, where is it? Damn, I just spun myself around there. Put that like that, that like that. Right, now what I'm talking about is that they've taken the motor out. There's no actual motor in there. I'm going to break that, I'm not worried because I'm going to use it myself anyway. <laughs> See there's no motor, they've left it, they've actually taken the motor out, but don't you fall you turd, don't you fall. Um, but there's still a bit of copper here, so I can take that little bit, that little bit. There must have been an aluminium core in it, but they've taken the whole motor out. So that's the reason why I picked it up, and it's on casters. I thought, oh yeah, I can use that. So that was out the back of um, the good old picture theatre where they take all their rubbish out, right next to their bin. I thought, yep, I'm definitely picked that up. And getting into what I got out of good old Coles click and click bin, we got out a whole heap of bread. Um, these were the tank loaves that I, I mentioned in the video. There's nothing really wrong with them. We've bagged them up. Uh, we're going to keep them ourselves. We, we don't donate that out. That's going directly in the freezer today because um, we bag them up ourselves. We, we, we'll cut that up and when we need a loaf and uh, we use that for toasting. So if there is, is anything on them, we're going to toast it anyway. Um, I didn't get this on, the cam on camera either. It's a disc rotor uh, I found that on the side of the road but I got that out of the bin that's just a piece of scrap metal um, all the wire here you seen what I got there there's a fair bit of heavy stuff in that damn that's some heavy stuff in there um, now getting down to the computer that I found in the box computer works 
I got it working. It said, what's it say on the box? I've got the box here. <laughs> broken to recycle. Well, yes, there was some parts to be that were broken uh, to be recycled, but I reckon I could fix them up. The broken parts, two keyboards. That's all there was, two keyboards and the phone don't work that was in the box too uh, that's only a base uh, like a base station hands-free um, phone the buds weren't in there I found them separate I'll explain them in a minute uh, the mouse actual works and it's paired up with this keyboard here uh, the doggle is actually inside the mouse right here from Dell it works I tried that on my laptop and it does work uh, yeah that works um, but yeah what was actually wrong with the computer um, it was booting up very slow there's two usernames on it but I'm sure I can with my previous past experience with computers um, a bit of know-how that I've got with computers I could probably factory restore it in other words it wipes whoever had it wipes their name off and puts it back to factory setting all their data is gone because um, many years ago I used to build computers and now I like I've been at it for God knows now like you could say nearly 15 years I've been out of I'm just getting back into it trying to learn the, the gift of the gab of you know it's better off to be fixed than thrown away uh, but yeah that's what the thing is with the computer at first i found there was a problem with the power supply it wasn't booting up um all it was with wasn't connecting in there uh there might be a loose connection up the other end too i'm not sure but anyway got it working um just going to reformat it not worry about any data that's on there um this keyboard here it does not work it said broken don't work on it why I can't get that one working? I haven't got the USB doggle. It's the Logitech one. It probably has a has a mouse as well. Um, this keyboard back here, I've actually used that on this computer. Does work. Works well. Uh, the TV we pulled out. She's a no go. She no work. The standby light comes on, but there's no picture. I might have a look at it, see if I can fix it. If I can't fix it, I'll definitely just scrap it out. Now, getting down to these Galaxy Buds live. Plug them in. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't work. So they're just a scrap out job. They'll be go straight in the electrical scraps out part. Unfortunately, um, yeah, I think I explained the phone. I did. Um, now, the goodies. The goody goodies for the night out of... Coles click and click bin was the Bundaberg traditional lemon it's uh, 369 nine bottles of those as you can see uh, three, four cans of solo can of sun, orange sun kissed so uh, that's the good goodies there uh, we've got some bit of brass a candle that's been used I'll take the brass off can't do it one-handed there we go it's a candle that's being used but June hmm, that does smell nice um, June can actually melt that out of there and um, reuse it for all of her candles this was a dragon feature um, a ice dragon feature the actual dragon head's gone so it it was an incense one where you put a incense in that little hole down in there and the stick stood up and you light it and it's yeah I said to June we could probably put that in the fish tank she said but it would have been used I said no it's brand new it's still got the label on it come on so what she does with it I don't know what she's going to do she's back now look at that halfway through the video um, now we did get out this stick of aluminium out of um, good old Coles click and collect bin too now this aluminium here the angle aluminium not on video found that on the side of the road next to another bin going down to the old truck depot thought what the devil is that black stuff looked too straight and and straight as die look sitting next to a bin i thought nah there's got to be something wrong with it 
looked at it, nothing wrong, it's still brand new. 20 by 20 by 1.5 millimeter by three meters. There's four of them and they're powder coated aluminium. So I don't know what the devil I'm gonna do with that. I did also get out of uh, the yellow bin out near the back of Coles Click and Collect this bit of aluminium. It's fairly thick. They've cut it out for something. So, uh, yeah. I might hang on to that bit. Um, I did get, I think it was two, maybe three of these um, stands out of the Coles Click and Collect bin. But, um, yeah, they were bringing the rest out after I turned the camera off. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I just said to them, well, where are they putting them? They said in the bin. So I said, well, instead of you putting them in the bin, put them in my vehicle. I'll take them. As soon as I opened the vehicle up, they seen the other two and said, oh, okay, yep, you can have them then because they're only going to be chucked in the bin anyway. So that was a good thing there. I was able to snavel them up. They do unscrew. Oh, I can't get that one. Where is this one? This one? No. They do unscrew. Um, they did have tops, but they wanted the tops. So yeah, they screw straight in there, so I wasn't worried. Um, I'm going to unscrew and just scrap them anyway, so it doesn't matter. So that concludes our show and tell for what we got for last night's video. Which is bloody good, I reckon. I like all the wire. So we'll find out what happens with the TV. Like I said, it powers up. But other than that, yeah. There's good old uni baby. Hi. Day. What do you reckon about that? Put it in the fish tank? No, I'm not putting it in the fish tank. Oh, come on. I reckon it look nice underwater. No. no. Let the fish glow. No. <laughs> anyway, that concludes this video for the day. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe.